our main uh, editor in Hungary, uh, mm -hmm. the journalist at Center of Film and Gold News. And my paper. partner in crime today as well. Thank you for yeah. that. Thank you for all the help that you give to us with the community in Greece as well. Thank you for the help. So we have some questions to ask uh, that are our own and some questions that uh, our users uh, Great. posted on the forums. Excellent. Uh, so, in FM 2009, we had uh, the 3D match engine as huge innovation. Yeah. Uh, is there any huge innovation like that in FM 2010? I think there are lots of slightly smaller innovations. Um, originally, when we started making FM 2010, the idea was going to be it was just improvements. We were going to be bug fixing and improving and improving and improving. Uh, during the cycle of the game, became obvious that it was going to be innovate and improve and that's basically what we're using internally at the studio for each version moving forward now. Um, I don't think anyone in the community guessed that we were going to have a competition editor this year for example or something like the tactics creator or the new user interface um, or the speed increases or the benchmarking um, the new news items you know, there's so much new stuff in there this year, but, and you guys, you've played the game out there, right? So, so, you know, you would have seen how much faster it is and how much better the game feels. It just feels more like one whole game rather than bits of games. So, I think, you know, the crowds and stadium, it was obvious that we were going to do those at some point, whereas some of the other things, not. So, it's, it's been, a very exciting year and the team, and they always work hard, but everyone's been working extra hard to make sure that the game is as, as polished as it is. My, my comment is that uh, for Greek users, the competition editor is a very big innovation. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have only two top leagues. Yeah. Yeah. And the ability to play more leagues is very... Every year they the race. The Greek national season. I think I think it's great that we've given people the chance to, to do it because every country, every country that I go to and, and in England as well, people are like, why can't we have this league, this level, this level? Um, people in the Middle East who don't have all of their leagues there, people in Africa who don't have all of their leagues there, giving them the chance to do them as well. And obviously we will be watching to see which leagues get downloaded, loads to, to steer what direction we go in the future. Um, I know you guys have a download ready to go for, uh, for down to level four, which I think is amazing. I didn't know about that until today, so that's brilliant. But um, the, the guy who's done England down to level, ten, level 12, and that's... <laughs> My village. <laughs> it's just crazy, because the English league, like the Greek league, it's regional and goes like that. So at level 12, I could probably get a game in it. <laughs> Actually, probably not. I haven't played for a while, so maybe not. So, can we expect a, a killer feature uh, huge like the, the match in, in 2011? You tell me what is there to add. <laughs> um, we've, we've got a few ideas already. I mean, we've got a features database with over 800 ideas anyway. Plus, that's constantly being added to. Um, there are a few big things that we want to do, but whether they're going to be 11 or 12 or 13, I'm not sure yet. We're being a lot more organized now, as of this year, than we've ever been before. So a lot of the features for FM11 were set when we had the last year's feature meetings, saying, this is great, we need to do it, but it makes more sense to be for 11 rather than 10. We've got some things down for FM12 already. So, um, so yeah, I've watched this space. FM10 isn't out yet, so I'm not going to say. <laughs> okay, yes. I'm not going to say anything about it. We're uh, running forward. Let, let people enjoy <laughs> FM10 first. Uh, so we expect a continuous effort by SI now to, to improve the 3D match engine, which is already very improved in this version. This year, massively. Yes. There's still still a long way to go, though. Does this mean that uh, less effort is going to be put on improving the AI? No, not at all. 
Paul Collier works on the AI on the match engine. That's what Paul does. The people who work on the 3D side of things are separate. Now Paul has, well, they're part of the same group, but Paul still does the AI. Paul has been working on some of the animation side of things to make sure that the AI of the animations are correct, but he's going to have someone helping him with that this year. But completely the opposite is true. The AI has to be improved so that things look great in the 3D view. The AI has to be perfect so that it looks great in the 3D view. Because more, more things are going uh, projected. To yeah, the because you can see them. Yes. It's, it's, it's less in your mind and more yes. on the screen. Yes. So, um, so no, definitely not. The, the AI for the match, and with Football Manager Live as well, they have different versions of the match with each version. So it gets played by a lot more people. We have more beta testers than ever before looking at the AI in both 2D and 3D. Um, so, so no, definitely not. The, the AI is imperative. So, with all these improvements in the graphics and these things in the AI, uh, what are the requirements for, uh, from the hardware? Exactly the same as FM09. So the and the game will run 40 to 45 percent quicker. It is ready for Windows 7 as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the only thing that's missing is the map. This isn't from Windows 7. Um, the Mac version doesn't have bulging gold nets. <laughs> it, it, will, it will do at some point. We will have uh, protests by Mac users. Probably. <laughs> I'm expecting them already, which is yeah. why we've been up front and told everyone this beforehand. It was a very last minute thing in the PC game. So we didn't have time to do the Mac version of it. If we are able to do it for a patch, we will do. Otherwise, it will be next version. I think they will be. Speak, speaking of Mac users, are you planning a version for iPhones? <laughs> planning a version of what for iPhones? For, of uh, Football Manager Handheld. Um, we look at every platform that becomes available. So. We evaluate the Nintendo platforms, we evaluate Apple platforms, we evaluate mobile phones. If we find a way to do it, then yes. But so far, Football Manager Handheld has just been on PSP, because at PSP Go, because there hasn't been a way to do it from other machine. So at the moment, no. But who knows when that will change. <laughs> The most frequently asked question 